people of all places, ages, and orientations. My name is Roland, and today we're doing a review of Adagio Tees. Now, Adagio, Adagio Tees, it's an online tea shop, and you can there are physical stores. I've never been to one, but I'm told there are some. So today we're going to be doing two that I ordered over the internet. The first is the Peach Oolong, and the second is the Wild Strawberry. Now, I actually ordered the peach oolong, um, just, just the peach oolong, but with every order you get, you also get a sample. So, um, I chose the wild strawberry, because, you know, that was what I was in the mood for. So, yep, yeah, so I'll be showing you just kind of a little bit of the brewing process um, of making these teas. They are loose leaf teas, so they're not in bags. They are just loose leaf. If you guys want to see real quick, if I can get this open. Oop, there we go. I don't know if you can see, so it is just, the tea is loose leaf, as you can see. Oops. Let's try not to spill this, get it back in the middle. Alright, so, yep, yeah, so I guess we'll try out the peach oolong first, then we'll head over to the wild strawberry. With the peach oolong, you know, right when you open the bag, you get a really, like, strong, like, very significant peach smell, like, you know it's peach tea, like, if you, know, if you just went up to someone, and like, hey, smell this, and, you know, take a whiff, easily peach, very peachy, very, so, let's see if it's, like, a very strong peachy taste when you actually drink it, because many times the aroma is strong, but the tea itself may not be very pungent in that particular taste, so I guess we'll see. The wild strawberry, much smaller package, not as much, but right when you open it, you know, it's a very, it not only is it not really just much of a strawberry, you know, there's a very slight strawberry aroma, but it's very apple-y and actually raspberry, and well, and you know, as well, and it says in the ingredients that there's raspberry leaves, apple pieces, and well, strawberries, obviously, it's called wild strawberry. So, um, you know, it's a very interesting smell, uh, it's, I like it, I'm not, it is, it's very fruity. So, uh, we'll see how this transovers to actually tasting. Uh, quick close change, as you can see, uh, this is probably, this is a shirt from uh, my recent fashion stork um, box. So, I mean, some of you may have seen the video, so you might recognize it. Um, you know, if you want to go see my review, I will leave a link down to, to my review in the description. But uh, back to the topic at hand. Uh, so, yeah, the first, you know, tea we tried out was the peach tea. Um, I've actually drank in most of it. Much the last of it. Um, for some reason, it looked a little bit brighter in the video. It's actually kind of a dark tea. Um, in general, the tea I was from the reviews, I was expecting it to be um, to have a bit more of a robust flavor. The flavor itself was slightly dull. Um, the amount I put, I did put the, I put actually put a slightly over the recommended amount of uh, teaspoons in the actual cup. So it recommends about it's one heaping teaspoon. Um, but I actually, I used about uh, one and a half, one half, which I usually like to do for uh, oolong tea such as that. And uh, so I'll be experimenting with it um, to see if I can get a better flavor. But in general, the sh flavor was definitely not as strong as, you know, as a smell. Um, it was pretty decent tea. Like, if you like, if you want a peach tea, this is perfect. It will. Get, it's a perfect peach tea. But it's not a tea that I'll go to and be like, you know what, I love this tea. Like, you know, if I just want tea, it's not the one I'm going to go for. Now for the strawberry wild uh, that um, we had, uh, I didn't do a brewing process, you know, same brewing process as basically the peach oolong. Um, it's an herbal tea, so you do put, you. I, I did put more, I put about two and a half teaspoons, which you're supposed to for herbal tea, and I let it steep for longer than you would an oolong. Um, so, and the wild strawberry, you know, probably, probably one of my favorite, like, second, it's probably my second favorite tea currently, it's was such such a good tea i loved it um I'm, i only got a sample of it and like i'm definitely gonna be ordering more of that in a much larger quantity uh second favorite tea gonna be ordering it easily um what was surprising was that it didn't have a lot of a strawberry taste like i kind of smelt it in the you know when we smelt it at first i said there wasn't a bit big strawberry flavor but huge apple huge cranberry flavor you know if i had to just take take a guess on what the flavor was I would be like, you know, it's like a cran or cran apple kind of flavor, if anything. Much less than a strawberry. Like, I got a tiny hint, teeny hint of strawberry, but nothing to make it called the wild strawberry. So, the name is a little off, but the tea, second favorite of all time, easily. 
So just, you know, just review, you know, we got the peach oolong, which is great peach tea. Not my favorite, but you know, it's a good peach tea. Then we have the wild strawberry, my favorite, well, my second favorite of all time. Um, love it. So Adagio tea is the first time I've had Adagio teas. Uh, I usually go with Tavana because that's what I usually get loosely from. Um, but yeah, so loved it. You know, uh, I don't think I showed you, but I used the rock sugar from Tavana. Uh, love it. Favorite kind of sugar there is. Uh, I use the Tavana teaspoon, you know, to per it gives it, it's very nice to, to scooping loose leaf teeth, uh, to, you know, measure the amount you need for your cup. And then I use various Tavana, uh, glassware. I use just, this is a 10 ounce mug, I believe, something around that. Um, and I use this infuser, which, it's a great infuser. It's, it's, it's one of the best infusers I've, I've, I've had so far. It's a really good price. So yeah, um, I hope you like this video. Um, tell me if you've had these teas. Tell me what you think about them in the comments below. Um, like I said, I'll leave a link to Adagio Teas down in the description and to my fashion store video, which is where this shirt is from. But yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and don't forget just to keep on rolling.